What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. All right, we have a lot of work ahead of us. But first I need to find the stand for y'all. I don't know where it is, it's probably in my truck. I need to find that. All right, let's empty these pockets and just show y'all some of what we're getting into. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. More on that later, much better. So let's go over some things. This is an Amazon tablet that I got. It's an Android tablet. It's not Amazon, it's an actual Android tablet. But I got it on Amazon and I dropped it within the first couple days. Ah! Super sick. But anyways, I bought this for like 60 bucks. And the reason why is because, yeah, when I dropped it, it, it kinda doesn't like to unlock. There we go. Because, you can run a Holly app on this. And I might have got me a little Bluetooth. The Holly Bluetooth module. Ah, yes. Gotta dive back in here. Oh yeah. How did I get in there last time? Hey. Alright. Success. We're following me. This technology is now failing us. <laughs> oh, you can't touch the screen? Why is that? Is that, is that because it's whipping around following Maybe. me? Oh, man. So if y'all come up close in the shade somewhere so we could probably actually see the screen. So that's going to be the new deck. Put it in scoots. 3D printed me something up here that'll connect to where my dash normally is, the cluster normally is, and uh, you yeah, got me some double-sided Velcro. I think y'all can see where this is going. Now, I don't know if this big R screen's gonna fit, and I'm not totally pleased with the overall brightness, but in the car, I think I'll be able to see it just fine. So, that's one thing we gotta do. We gotta get this situated. Might have to 3D print something new or you know, Velcro it in there somehow. This is a 12 volt charger that also will tell me voltage and that's so it'll charge that. And we are gonna try and rig up this brake pedal switch that actually uses just the brake pedal and stays out of the pressure system. So that way we can avoid the line blowing out like it did. Uh, yeah, that lost all brakes and we don't need to lose all brakes. So have a temporary replacement that we're gonna throw in. That way we can back the car off once we get to Chuck's. And uh, you know, there's some brakes that way. So that's what I'm trying to say. So we're gonna remove all the brake lines on scoots because I, a couple months back, got all brand new finishing line brakes. Just never installed it because I needed this eighth inch T eighth inch NPTT, just so I could be able to use one of these. And it turns out I don't want to use one of these. So we're going to eliminate that altogether by going over to this. So we never have to worry about that again. And the reason why we need this is one, so our taillights function and two, so the Holly knows if you're street driving, when to unlock the converter based on brake pedal input. All right. So that's new dash for the Bluetooth module, temporary brakes, redo all the brake lines, bleed the system, get it back to doing great, double check all the tune and everything to make sure we're gonna actually hit our, what my goal is, we'll discuss that. Possibly make suspension adjustments, nothing major, cause it is moving out pretty good. That'll all be later tomorrow. I need to make sure I've got all my ducks in a row, everything ready to go. This time we're bringing a generator and fans. I got some fans. Hell yeah. Went and talked to my old boss who has a restoration business and he has tons of these fans. So he actually sold me two fans for 30 bucks each, which is a killer deal because those things are like two, three hundred dollars each normally. And yeah, so now we got two badass fans, one big fan. Gonna bring all the fans because we wanna just cool this thing off and be able to make more passes. Let's get everything ready and set. 
for Saturday. Saturday is the big day. We're gonna try and run an eight second pass in scoots. Run an eight second pass in scoots. Well, joke's on me. This is not a matching thread pattern to that guy. We weren't going to use this, but just to get it out of the yard and stuff, and stop spraying everything, impulsively hitting the brakes when I can't stop. I was trying to use it, but I guess we'll just kind of, yeah, mosey on around however we can. fluid it was all over here wiped it up as quick as I could break cleaned it off but man I already did a number it's all part of hot rod all right guys today's the day gotta get them brakes done get everything loaded up bring in the shucks and get it ready Yeah, buddy. A couple hours left till we gotta go to the track. Brakes are done. Feeling nice and toy. Toy like a tiger. Just had to have a little pit stop, get some tacos in us, you know? You know? Let's go check it out. Show you boys what we've been doing. Alright. So, brake fluid destroyed my paint, but got them finishing line brakes and proportioning valve set up finishing line brakes all the way around the car cleaned it up even nicer next we got a valve cover we're gonna try and snug up got an exhaust leak we're hoping we could just snug up it's actually right there that cylinder but it's enough to where it ticks and it's annoying because people look and that's horsepower down the drain so this valve cover leaks oil in the back It's always recommended carry aluminum ladders in, in lightning storms. Huh? It's always recommended to carry aluminum ladders in lightning storms. You're doing me a favor. Oh, stop it. All right. Then we got to check fluids, tranny fluid, oil. This chip right here. You're lying. You are lying. Did you do that? I don't know, you knew right where it was. Silly boy. So we got a little bit left to do and then we got to transfer all the stuff in my truck to his truck, cover it with a tarp. Probably do that now. Let's get to it. Yeah.
tail sleek. That's going to require us to unbolt some of the turbo stuff. Because it, it moved basically and it's putting pressure on the, the header flange. That's all good. Chuck found out why my headlights weren't working and fixed that. So, got headlights again. Now, last thing I gotta do before we uh, go, we got a couple hours before we go, so we'll just end up chilling. But, need to check the transmission fluid. So, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Happy. He is not happy. Right, buddy? We want to see Daddy's eight. Maybe it's a sign from the Lord, JD. Maybe. Nope. Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. Said you ain't getting what you want right now. This gives us time to go over those brake lines a little longer. I don't know. If we find a smoking gun, then I'll I'll tell
take it. it gives but, us time to uh, push the brakes about six more times before you do 150 miles an hour. Yeah, that's true. Ring check, guys. Ain't gonna happen. Dill's with us, too. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's that's gonna do it for us. Uh, it's unfortunate, but get rained out, you get rained out. There's nothing you can do. It is the way she goes. The way she goes. Lost all the liquor money, boys. What? That's the way she goes. That's the way she goes? That's right. That's the way she goes. That's what I said. So you goes. lost all our drink money is what she goes. She's gone. That's right. That's the way she goes. Sometimes she goes, sometimes it doesn't. She didn't go. That's the way she goes. Well, I guess we're going the f home then. Corey, get him out of here. It's going to be the best night ever. Now it's the worst night ever. Nice parking, Chuck. That's the way she goes, boys. We're going to take it as a sign from God that we need to look over our brakes a little bit better because we just redid all our brake lines in like two and a half hours, three hours. We're going to double check all that. Today wasn't our day. We're going to have to go again next weekend and give it our best. Hopefully run an 8.99999 second quarter mile. All right, guys, if you're new here, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our Facebook group, post your belt in there. I'll catch you guys in the next one.